everybody and uh, welcome to a new vlog. I mean it's been a few months like three give or take. Uh, it is 7:40 Friday morning the uh, 27th of August and uh, lots of people asking about vlogs lately so <clears throat> I needed oh my water I was like what am I going to get I need some water um, so I was like you know what all right Here's the situation, though. This is nothing that I haven't said to you guys before. I just feel like I don't have a lot. Oops, I need my cup. I just feel like I don't have a lot to vlog um, because I have been in Ohio so much recently for work. Um, can we talk about the tomatoes in the room? <laughs> you know, like elephant in the room, but tomatoes in the room. I'll show you guys this and get my cup. We, uh, <laughs> some of the things have been great in the garden this year. Some of them, more than normal, have been not so great. Um, tomatoes have been great. We've already canned 15 quarts because you guys know we do, you know, they, they don't ripen all at the same time, so they have to do them in spurts. This right here, <clears throat> that's got to be at least eight, <laughs> maybe more, I don't know, but oh. You know, nothing like I've just started vlogging and my battery's almost dead because I haven't charged it in three months. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be my lot in life in the next few weeks here is canning tomatoes. I'm actually home for a couple of weeks. Uh, I don't go back to Ohio until the 12th. And then I'm there for a week, home for a week, and then I'm in Vegas for a week for the um, Pack Expo, which is something I have to go to. Um, okay, so I'll show you guys this. I... Every once in a while, I tune into QVC. Usually, it's when it's David, so it's like um, Sunday. Is it Sunday afternoon? I can't remember. David in the kitchen. And if, if I see that he's on there, then I'll generally tune in and see what's happening. But so they were talking about this cookbook. They had just finished talking about where they were moving on to the next thing. And it looked good, like a couple of recipes that they talked about. I just didn't realize how big it was. So I also don't know what this is. I, this apparently is a TV show, obviously. Never have seen it, no idea. But the recipes they talked about looked good. Um, do you see how big this is? This is like... <laughs> I mean, I just would be surprised if the binding doesn't fall apart soon as it's like sitting open. As, I don't know, anyway. Um, oh, that was, I think this was one of the things that I saw them making or saw them talking about these crispy potato fans where you use chopsticks to, you know, anyway, I have been a bit in a cooking rut and so I thought that would help, but is anybody else like that where it's, there's so many recipes in here. It's like overwhelming. Like I can't anyway. Okay. So, um, my parents are gone for, oh, water. My parents are gone, are, are going to be gone for a little bit. Every year they are gone this week. So we will be handling their garden. Look at that. I mean, it's like old times. Y'all are in the cupboard again. Um, so we will also be canning their tomatoes. It is also a banner year for them, I believe. Need ice. I don't know if I was vlogging with the, when we were having the whole ice maker issue. Deja vu, no. But it wasn't... Um, it was, it, first of all, if you're new here, welcome. Um, and the deja vu thing is that I had a real issue with our Samsung refrigerator that was only a year old um, and fought them and won. That's why I said deja vu. I try, I, I try not to have like sort of quote unquote inside, inside uh, jokes because I forget that not everybody has been here the whole time. Um, anyway. So it just was not working, wasn't spitting out. It took us multiple tries and a couple hundred dollars, but it's fixed now. Uh, so you missed that. Um, I have to get a, a crown. I'm, I have a temporary crown on my tooth. The, that happened on Monday before I left. And um, it still hurts to chew. I don't, I can't chew on that side. So I'm really hopeful that once the permanent one, what happens is that, what happens is I cracked a tooth back there on a piece of popcorn. Who knew that eating popcorn was, 
could be detrimental to your teeth. <laughs> All right. That's what I have so far. I have a meeting in 15 minutes. I'll do my best to check in along the way today. It's going to take me a little while to get back in the group. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. It is 5.40. And I never did charge my battery, so I have to do a quick check in here because I just am charging it now. I charged up just enough to be able to give you a little clip. Um, I did get through all of the tomatoes yesterday, so those are all done in a pot, and then... Oh, good morning. I'm gonna, I decided to vlog. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do my load of laundry quick. So that way I'm out of your way when you decide to want to oh, start first. I'm going to do mine tomorrow because we're going to cut tonight. So. That's what I kind of figured. Did you already make the bed? Yes. Okay, I'll wash the sheets tomorrow. I don't want your hard work to go for nothing. Well, I don't. <laughs> no, no, I'll do it tomorrow. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> so, yesterday I got, out of those tomatoes, about, give or take, 32 cups. I filled this up four times. That's the only way, the only reason I know. So I'll show you guys that when we pull it out. I'm going to do these ones. We had some Romas, some of the Wisconsin 55s, and then I can't remember what the bigger one is. We have a mixture of them, but these... Literally, the brand of tomatoes, or the type of tomatoes called Wisconsin 55. It's been so good. Um, they get a little bit bigger than the Romas, but they're just as beefy and meaty as a Roma, so they're great for canning. Um, so anyway, we're going to do that. I went to bed last night at, I went in at 7.30 and was uh, asleep by pretty much 8 o'clock. I just am really wet. It's been a lot of travel, a lot of running around, a lot of stress. A lot, a lot of it, you know what I'm saying? You know what, you probably don't because I haven't been vlogging, but for those of you that aren't on Instagram, I've just been traveling a whole lot for work. And we had a camping trip in there, which was nice, but then I, pretty, I came home and I was supposed to leave that Monday. And we ended up, this wasn't this past week, but the week before, I ended up changing my flight because of stuff that was going on, and I left Sunday instead. So I was there Sunday to Friday, came home, was home Saturday, Sunday, Monday, left again Tuesday, just got back Thursday. So that's been, that's been the busy. I'm trying to see. Oh, we are boiling here. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I gotta go. I gotta blanch some tomatoes. So if you don't, if you never can tomatoes, I'll give you a quick rundown. Um, I have them separated into size. The little ones I blanch for 30 seconds, the medium for 45, and the big ones for one. When we used to have the beef eaters, those ones I would blanch for like a minute and 15 or so. It's just long enough so that the skins will slip off. So you put them, we put them in this thing, in there, pull it out, put them in cold water, and then the skins will slip right off. Um, and then I chop them all up, and then I'll show you the next step. First step, get all the skins and stems. All right, 625, I have all the tomatoes blanched, chopped, and then the big stock pot here. It's just somewhere between 48 and 50 cups, I would say. Um, not that it matters, I'm just letting you guys know. And now what we do is just bring this to a real gentle boil. And then we fill the jars. And then each quart gets a teaspoon of kosher, or like pickling salt, right? That's the kind of salt we use? Yep. And it literally says pickling salt on it. And then two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then we process them for 45 minutes. Yes. Once it comes to a boil. Yes. Yeah. So each batch takes about an hour. Yeah, because it, it has to come to a boil. To come to a boil. I think we're going to have two full canners here. I believe so. We'll report back. So we have two more that we're doing for us. So we have 30 total then. <clears throat> some left from last year and some this year. Quartz. Quartz. What did I say? You just said some. Oh, sorry. Quartz. And then um, then we're going to be just canning for my parents because um, if they're gone, their tomatoes will be continuing to ripen as will ours. And so we're going to do 24 total for them if we get that over the next week or so. And then we'll start canning the rest for us again. And friends and whatnot. So. Right. Well, your yeah. dad was going to purchase some tomatoes. 
Yeah. That's, I was watching ours. Uh, yeah. I mean, I tried something different, didn't work. The weeds, the weeds really took over, but the tomatoes are really doing well. Yep. Yeah. Um, I told them. Dad had mentioned that he was going to purchase some for canning, and after I started watching ours start to come and start to ripen, I said, no, <laughs> no need. <laughs> It's a banner year for us, that's for sure. Um, but I did tell them yesterday that it was not a good year for corn, but also it wasn't a good year for everybody. Um, you know what we do have this year that he hasn't done before is broccoli and cauliflower. The broccoli, we've already had two heads or three? Three. Three heads of broccoli, and we've got more coming. Um, the cauliflower, he thinks he planted them too close together, but he does, he said there's one little small head coming, so we'll see. You know, it's always a learning. Did you get radishes? Yeah, I got about a dozen of them. Okay. It wasn't this one for some stuff in the garden. Yeah. Wasn't a good year for it. Corn. It's been a weird weather year. Beans. Anyway. Yeah, we didn't get the any beans. Beans came up very sporadically, and the ones that did the rabbit stuff. Yeah. They had, Mom and Dad got beans, and so we did blanch and freeze some beans already. Yeah. So we're good there. Lettuce um, was okay. Yeah, lettuce was okay, just not as good as normal. Not as good as normal. Um. Onions are all right. Yep, onions are good and potatoes. Yep. In the in the famous words of Kim, potato. potatoes. Potato. The potatoes um, are good. He's gonna probably do those tomorrow and then they have to sit out oh, to dry out for a few days. And then go into a sack. So yeah. Last year we even though we had a, quite a few, we had them all gone. Remember? We the potatoes? Oh, yeah, for sure. I remember what we, we did something, I some meal some. or something where you had used a lot of them for mashed potatoes or something. Yep. We they were good. Yeah. They were real good. It was not Thanksgiving. Or maybe we did use them for Thanksgiving. No, it was before that. Thanksgiving, which was just us and my parents and wife. Um, I think you did a shepherd's pie for some of them, but I don't know. I think I know we had some in a row. Oh, so there you go. There you go. Um, I don't know if I told you guys yesterday. I got a. I cracked. A, I think I did. I cracked a tooth on this popcorn. Um, but I don't think my crown is. It's not. I have a temporary crown, and I said to Bob yesterday, I'm like, boy, I, I hope that the permanent crown makes it so I can chew on that side again. He was like, um, I've had two crowns, and you should be able to chew already. So I don't know what's yeah, going on. Have to bring that up with your dentist, yeah, I'm gonna call on Monday yeah. and see. Anywho, all right, we're gonna heat these up and we'll get them canning and I'll check with you guys later. I'm gonna make um, blueberry bar, blueberry picnic bars today. I'll show you guys that. Um, we have tomatoes everywhere. These are just hey, walk by, grab a tomato. Um, I've made this recipe once before. You can use frozen or fresh blueberries, which I love. So I'm going to make these today. I'm trying to see, oh yeah, I can, this is an 8 inch. So I can make a smaller pan of it. So I'm going to make those here in a little bit as well. But first, y'all, I've been up for over an hour with no coffee. Yeah. It's time for some coffee. Well, I got up and got right to work. Things had to be done. Bobby's already vacuumed and is already cleaning the toilet. One toilet scrub already. It's kind of Sunday chores, and we've already decided that we're playing hooky tomorrow because uh, we've been going and going and going. <clears throat> Last week was the picnic um, for church, and so, yeah, we're just going to... We'll refer to online. We'll, yeah, we will watch online tomorrow. Play hooky, watch online. All right. I'm going to go. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right. So I didn't show you before I canned them all up, but it's 730 now. We have um, some in the canner, and then this, we have seven more ready to go. And we had just a little tiny bit left, so we stuck in the fridge for the next time. Um, so yeah, when I fill them, I fill them, I'm pretty good at guesstimating now, because I've been doing it a while. I fill them to just about here, and then add in the two tablespoons of lemon juice and the salt. And then the lids sit, they go in hot water first. Not boil, but hot. So it softens them a little bit. Put the lids on, and then the bands and then we have them in the canner. You bring the canner to a boil and then start your 45 minutes. That is correct. And now I'm going to actually toast a 
I have these bagel thins, and I'm going to toss myself a bagel thin. And then I'm going to sit in my butt a little bit and watch Below Deck Mediterranean for a little bit. And then I will start the rest of my day. Shower, grocery shop, and I've already decided. I, I can't remember if I said that we're having Kim and Weiser over for burgers and stuff tonight. Um, instead of making the blueberry bars, I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to buy it for pizza. Because that's what's going to happen. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, Bob likes it, the fruit pizza. Right. Right. Um, and I, I know both both uh, Kim and Weiser will like it as well. So, so that, look at this thin little bagel. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And I'll pick you up later. But really, that's it for the canning of the tomatoes. Now it's just processing time and you don't have to... You know what I mean? It's not like it is that much work. Fortunately, I chopped most of the tomatoes yesterday. Right. Right. So we had a step up on the day. All right, guys. Oh. You guys, I really need to charge up the new camera. This one's got issues. Anyway, um, it is 11.30, and I went to the appliance store because our microwave is on the fritz a little bit the buttons aren't working it's a whole thing but it was super busy in there so i uh decided i would go back one day this week in my lunch or something and i also forgot to take the measurements of the little space we have for our microwave so yeah i was not prepared for that went to the grocery store and home put the groceries away side note if you've never tried these cheese it snaps don't because they're pretty much addicting. Okay. I went to my post office for the first time in forever. And I had a book there from a gal by the name of Natalie. She's from Nova Scotia. And it says, let's be blunt. What's really the point of Christianity? It's by Evan Oxner, O-X-N-E-R. Um, so, yeah. I'm interested to dig into that a little bit. So thank you so much for that, Natalie. It was an unexpected treat. And I needed to go because I hadn't been in months. I don't even know when she sent this. Is there a date on here? I'm look, it's Canadian Post. I'm not sure where the... Oh, May 15th. Natalie, I'm sorry. She's probably like, hey, lady. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, got, she put her Instagram name on there so I can go send her a message. And then, this is fairly recent. Carol, who I have met in person actually, sent me a package. Um, I found these two jars. How can you use them? And that they make it in one piece. Have a great day. Take care. Um, so let's just see what she, what she sent here. Look at their canning jars. They sure are. Thank you so much. We can always use more candy jars. So, oh, that's awesome. These are just like some of the ones we have. Um, so that was really sweet. Thank you so much. And then, let's see. <clears throat> this is one that we would use for like jam. Um, so thank you, Carol. That was so sweet. I'm going to send you a, go uh, leave her a little message. So um, Packers play in a half hour. It's preseason. It's not a huge deal, of course. But I do always like to try to catch... Um, oh, you guys, this is the best bubbler. This one. It tastes like a bomb pop. It's called Triple Berry Breezer. Can you see that? I don't know if you can get these everywhere. Because I think they're... Yeah, they're made in Watertown, Wisconsin. They're so good. They're five calories. Let me see if I can tell you all the whatnot that people care about. Eight carbs. I know people don't like that. But uh, it has a riff at all in there. People don't like that either. But anyway, I have no issue with any of that. I find these delightful. And they have a little kick to them. They're, there's like antioxidants. Um, it's called antioxidant sparkling water that boosts, energizes, and restores balance. Don't have them late at night. Because <laughs> I made that mistake once. Um, okay, so... I handle all the things, so now I'm going to go sit down and watch the Packers and maybe take a little nap. My um, 
crown situation is not good. It hurts more as I go throughout the day. So when I eat things, I'm pretty much chewing on my right-hand side. Or, sorry, it's probably really loud. Or, um, just want to take the air out so I can put this in recycling. Um, or I'm letting, like, I'm trying to eat soft things or let it sort of melt in my situation I'm going to call the dentist on Monday we'll see what he says so all right I'm gonna go do that and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later good morning everybody it is Sunday morning I'm turning this down I've been watching pretty woman <laughs> it's quarter to eight I was up before five this morning <laughs> so frustrated with myself but anyway um working on laundry Bob and I chit chatted planned out talked about the week he just left for Walmart, and I have just gotten out vegetables that I need to cut up for us for the week. Um, yeah, cucumbers, peppers all from the garden, tomatoes from the garden. I have some oh, other cucumbers from the garden. So many. Cucumbers. My dad was trying to pawn off some cucumbers on us. I was like, dude, we got enough cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Um, we are going to have a fairly lazy day. We're going to Corner Bar tonight with Wilson and Malpe um, just for real quick hour, hour and a half kind of catch up because we haven't seen them in a while. Oh, this is the opera scene of Pretty Woman. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to do a lot of resting today. I'm really just trying to get caught up from the last couple of weeks. Um, last night we had a great time with Weiser and Kim. Um, had some burgers and some pasta salad and seven layer salad and it was good. It was really nice to see both of them and to visit with them a little bit. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, this is leftover from last week when I cut up vegetables. So if you're new here, welcome. I put together five little baggies of vegetables for Bob. Uh, and then I just have extras that I eat throughout the week. Or having salads or whatever the case may be. So, yeah. What's going on? It's been super exciting. So. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday, 2-24. Uh, I'm kind of a slacker. <laughs> I'm not in the habit yet. Not in the habit. It's fine. It's, everything's fine. Um... So I am just working, obviously. Um, I feel like I have messages coming in from emails, text messages. It's just like the never-ending messages. Um, anyway, I'm having a little afternoon snack, some Triscuits with some cheese, and some tomatoes in the garden. Um, it's just been a busy day, like, like one thing after another. So I just haven't had a chance to pick up the camera. It looks beautiful outside, and I believe that the humidity was supposed to drop today, which I hope is actually the case. It is, however, 81 degrees, according to my watch. Um, I have not been outside yet to see. <laughs> I have these grand ideas of going for a walk on my lunch, or even just going outside and soaking up some sun, and then I just don't actually take the lunch. Um, I took my nails off, my nail dashes. I'm going to put on a set hopefully later tonight. We'll see. And now I can't remember whether I vlogged about the crown situation or not, but something's wrong they don't think like at least me explaining it over the phone they don't think that i need a root canal they think that it's just not on right she said it needs a bite adjustment or something she's like it's kind of like a pebble in a shoe i hope so because last night it woke me up out of a sleep because it was hurting but i also was like full prone and you know i feel like it was sort of throbbing a little bit because you know i wasn't above my heart so i Propped my pillows up a little bit, took some ibuprofen, went back to sleep, and was fine for the rest of the night. But there you go. Okay, that's all I have to report. I'll try. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try to be better. I promise. I'm gonna try to be better. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Tuesday morning, um, ten o'clock. I have been busy, busy <sighs> with work. I am so grateful to have to be able to open the windows. It's 68 degrees in my house. I'm a little chilly, but I kind of ran out of time. I started getting ready, or like getting dressed, and um, 
by like 6.30, my phone was ringing. I started working at 7. And I just got up a little bit later than I normally do. And anyway, uh, I never got went back in to get, put a sweater on. So I need to do that here. But I just thought I would say hi to you guys first of all. I came out to get my water. Um, yeah, busy, busy, busy. Yesterday, um, when Bob came home, we had some... Oh, I had uh, chicken salsa tacos for dinner last night. I'm going to go get my sweater right now. And you can hear my work emails going off. So we had chicken salsa tacos. And uh, hung out to watch some TV. Like it was pretty boring. I'm just thankful to be home and be able to enjoy, enjoy that. Now, tonight I'm meeting a friend in Green Bay for dinner um, because Bob had to work late and he had to do something else. I can't remember what, to be honest, I can't remember what else I'm going to do. And today at 1120, I'm going in for my, have my crown looked at, but I'll tell you what, I think I figured something out. So, again, I woke up in the middle of the night. 11.30. For me, that's the middle of the night because I went to bed at um, 8.30. But, and it was the same thing as the night before. I go to bed and the pain level is like a 1, 2, nothing crazy. So, so I wake up and it's like a, um, like an 8, 9, 10. Like it's through the roof. Here's what I figured out. Because she explained, I think I told you guys in the vlog yesterday. Maybe not. She explained that the it's just probably not on right because I'm not hot and cold sensitive. It's just when I bite. So she's like, it's kind of like, think of it like a pebble in a shoe. And that makes perfect sense to me. So what I thought of this morning when I woke up is, I bet I'm grinding my teeth. Like when I, I think I do that when I'm stressed because I'll wake up sometimes with headaches and things. I bet I'm grinding my teeth. And that's why I go to bed and it's fine. And I wake up and I just, it, it hurts so badly because I've been like, I, I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's my guess. I've diagnosed the situation myself. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, so I got up a little bit later this morning because I just was tired from being up for, you know, an hour or so. Because I got up, took some pain meds, and then um, laid back down, propped myself up again like I had done the night before. So uh, I got up a little bit later than normal. Didn't do a live this morning. Washed my hair, let it, you know, air dry pretty much, and some curls and I just haven't had a chance to get to makeup yet. It may or may not happen. It's fine. Um, anyway, that's what's going on. Not much to report aside from I have another um, hour and 15 minutes and I head to the dentist. Then I come back and back to work. Just working. Good afternoon everybody. It is um, about four o'clock. End of my work day. Do I have more to do? Yes. Am I meeting a friend in Green Bay for dinner and so I can't work anymore? Also yes. Which is good. I need something sometimes to force me out of there. Um, so, leaving Bobby a note. I made him a salad with grilled chicken on it, which incidentally is what I had for lunch. Um, I am happy to report that I believe they have fixed the situation. Um, I, I have already less pain, and it's still there's still pain, but it's different. It's not like a before, when I would something would happen to get on that side, and I would chew, it would I would bite down no matter what it was, and it would about send me through the roof. Now I can chew over there, and it just feels sore. And they basically said, you know, like a pebble in your shoe. Once you kick it out, your foot is still sore from where it was for a little bit. So we'll see. We shall see. But um, yeah, so I'm cautiously optimistic that um, over the next day or two it'll be better. If it's not, then we have to have a whole other conversation. Oh, I have containers. <laughs> I have containers to give back to my friend that I'm having dinner with. Um, it's my friend Ange, and we went camping together, and she had brought me some things in those containers, so I want to give them back to her. I, I really prefer to um, give containers back with something in them, but... We don't always have time for that sort of situation. So, anywho, just thought I would touch base with you guys. Say hello. 
and I'm going to head out to the door. Oh, to the door, I'm going to head out the door, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow.